hello everyone hope you guys doing well so guys today i'm going to uh, discuss about oracle instance startup sequence uh, so it's an interview question also uh, it's asked in a you know a couple of interviews uh, like a company like tcs or cts right so uh, let's discuss about it how the oracle instance is starting right if you are hitting a command uh, you know the startup command for the oracle instance startup so how the oracle instance is starting one by one process so in this session we will discuss about so i would suggest uh, watch the complete video uh, because end of the video uh, you know i'm going to discuss a couple of tricks about on it okay uh, so let's jump the topics oh, so before jumping the topics uh, whoever not subscribe my channel please do like subscribe thank you so uh, in this slide uh, you know uh, i have Uh, design the sequentially you know uh, the graph uh, for the oracle instance startup so uh, whenever you are you know uh, hitting the command for oracle instance startup so how it's you know uh, internal behavior of oracle instance startup sequence right so when you are hitting the startup command uh, so ideally in the instance was or you know on the idle state so what is the next step uh, so next state is uh, you know uh, the instance started no mount so what is this meaning of no mount so basically uh, you know uh, no mounts it's like you know memory created for the sga so when we said instant in a no mount state so nothing it's like you know uh, the S your sga is created here okay so next state is uh, instant started mount state okay so now mount state means you know your oracle instance connected to the control files so, you know so whenever the instant in a mount state you know the so the oracle instance already connected with your control files the next state is uh, you know on the instant you know in a open state so before coming to open state uh, here it's you know doing the couple of checks here so uh, here you know it will check uh, whether the uh, you know uh, the checkpoint occurred or not during the previous uh, you know instant shutdown so let's assume uh, whenever you uh, Uh, the, your oracle instance uh, was down uh, due to some reason or maybe uh, some oracle instance crashed or whatever so during that time it will check the you know here for the checkpoint was occurred or not so two things here it's going to check uh, did a checkpoint occurred at the host shutdown okay so it will come to next phase uh, if no let's assume checkpoint was not occurred so then it will go for instance recovery okay if yes then it will open for the it will open the database for the user okay so oh, here when a couple of times you have seen uh, you know uh, once you hitting the command of startup command of oracle instant uh, you can see the instance is in a recovery state uh, in a couple of minutes so let uh, during that time you know it's happened same because uh, the checkpoint didn't occurred at the previous shutdown and because of that instance went for the recovery so no worries uh, it will it will take couple of minutes and automatically you know your recovery process is uh, once the recovery process is done uh, your oracle instance will be open for the user okay so this uh, this checkpoint rule is very very important here you need to explain uh, you know uh, very uh, uh, very carefully here here you need to focus on it this checkpoint was occurred or not occurred during the last shutdown so once the oracle in open state uh, you know uh, so here now database is in open state on any a, any user can you know able to connect the database until unless database is not in open state no any users can access the particular database right so this is the complete approach whenever you ask for the you know uh, to tell me the oracle instance sequence how the oracle instance is starting one by one so in summary i'm going to explain again uh, so uh, this is the complete approach how the instance is coming uh, no mount mount and then open state so uh, no mount as i said uh, you know memory nothing just memory sga your sga is created no amount uh, uh, your instance will be connected to your control files whatever the control files where where it is placed it will connect to the oracle instance and uh, in a last phase uh, it before coming to last phase it will check the checkpoint occurred or not during the previous shutdown if the checkpoint occurred uh, if check, if the checkpoint not occurred 
instance will go to recover recovery stage if the checkpoint is occurred it will open your database to the respective users so this is the complete end to end process for the you know oracle instant startup sequence so i have just uh, you know uh, showed you uh, based on this you know uh, the flow charts uh, or diagram uh, so it's easy to understand how it's coming one by one uh, in a different phase and how it's uh, coming to the open stage until unless database will not come to open state nobody can able to access the database right that's the very very important things so that's it guys for today uh, i just try to explain you uh, how to you know uh, how the oracle instance is, is starting internally and what is the sequence for startup sequence for oracle instance so in the next video i will come with some another oracle topics basic topics and which can ask in any interview uh, so i will I, i will try to cover on it thank you bye bye checks cheers whoever not subscribe my channel please do like subscribe thank you